Pop your shit, tween. Hit the screen. Stupid ass. Oh. That booty hoe. Yeah, ho. Yeah, ho. We going to town. <laughs> <laughs> a shocking 20-page report has been completed into sexual relationships at the Laverne Police Department. Some happening while officers were on duty and at work. You're doing something while you're at work. I mean, for everybody else who goes to work, you know, we're held to that same standard. Jerry Howell says he was in disbelief when first reading the report and wants changes from city leaders. The investigation says Mayor Jason Cole got the first tip about the relationships. It's just bad. It's like a stain, I guess. We requested an interview with Mayor Cole, but was told he was not willing to talk on camera. Instead, he released a statement saying in part, we will be retraining all of our employees. Man, what, what, what we retraining them for? What we retraining? And that's cap too. Let me tell you, that's cap. They not retraining shit, bro. 100% they're not retraining a motherfucking thing. And the rules, regulations, and expectations set forth by city leadership. Be a wake up call for it, Laverne, but also a wake up call for our police department to uh, take care of themselves. If you guys don't know, there's this <laughs> cop <laughs> who apparently Yo, was running. I ain't gonna lie, 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 right? I only know a little bit about this, right? Why the fuck was they running? First of all, she looked like the type, but why the fuck was she, they really running the train on joint on shoulder? Like, she not that, you know what I'm saying? Unless I'm missing something. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas got the info I'm missing. What's the full body looking like? But I'm pretty sure niggas was just doing shit. Y'all niggas is nasty. You niggas is nasty, B. Y'all need some help. Mentally, y'all niggas is crazy. Running, having trains ran on her, doing stuff on the job at the workplace. She was servicing. They had to... Uh, <laughs> and not the people. She was servicing the servicers. To protect and serve other cops. Good Lord. As I've been shit, it was her. That picture didn't age well. Yo, that picture is crazy. Hey, yo. Nah, Pornhub at the bottom right. Niggas is bugging, bro. Yo, this imagery is wicked, bro. Wicked. Nah, son. I ain't gonna lie. If she do want to make a living, she could definitely go in the porn industry at this point. She could, she could fucking or, or make an OnlyFans. She could run that whole... Cop shit into the ground. I'm telling y'all, bro. Bugging out. Like, what? <laughs> you know what's so funny about the <laughs> A lot of people were talking. They're like, bro. And this is a lot of women. A lot of women, you're like, yo, man. Like, I saw her pictures. And I'm like, you know. The girl, when they risked their jobs for. They didn't want to just come out and say, like, this girl's like a four. Okay. And it's that's fine. Bit. You can just say, just come out and say that like, she's not the most trash. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's not even the point. You, you I'm gonna put you on a game about the male brain. If it's present and it's down, we going to town. Niggas is sick, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Niggas is sick, bro. Look, 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 look. Right? Look, right? Hold on, let me move this. Let me move this. Let me sit it down. Look, right? Niggas is sick because. Yeah, niggas do move like that. Malevolent movements. I'm not even going to say a lot of y'all. But the, point, the problem I got is, right, the train shit be on the job. Y'all couldn't have rain. Come on. Like, niggas is that horny they willing to risk the, you feel me? Come on. Some getting some some neckery. <laughs> some throatery would have been like, all right. You feel me? So, or some brainery. I'd be like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Cool. But you niggas... Couldn't wait till y'all got off the clock, my nigga. Come on, bro. Bugging out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy scene, too. The part. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, listen. It's present and it's down. We're going to town, Brown. It, <laughs> bro. You have to understand one thing. Like, it, yes, sir. Cha ching. We are going for the jackpot. And let me say, there was Go some ahead. jackhammering that was happening. They hey, drilled yo. the fuck out of her. And I ain't talking about no drill sergeants. Like, well, well, technically, it was her sergeant. That's kind of wild, ain't Left, it? right, left. <laughs> drill sergeant. And hey, he, yo. And I've heard all kinds of crazy takes. <clears throat> like what? <clears throat> What'd you hear? But here's here's the, 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 the real simple take of the matter. People who are at work, male and women, traditionally fuck each other. Okay, she right. was married. 
Didn't even matter. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of office romance involve people who are in relationships and married. The truth of the matter is, when men and women work together, there's going to be some fucking shenanigans, shenanigans happening. Even if you have an anti-fraternization policy, let me tell you, they got the strictest one in the military, and they fucking in the barracks during basic training. They wasting no time. They'll fuck superiors. They'll fuck inferiors. They'll fuck the person laterally. They don't care. They see a hole, they going in. She sees a rod, she jumping on. Now, I'm not saying it's always consensual, but in this case it was, so we're not even going to talk about the more devious shit. And good on the police chief for fire. It's crazy you had to say that. <laughs> and today's climate, you got to say shit like that, though. Like, to, to cross all your T's and dot your I's, you really got to speak like that. I don't know if y'all peeped it. I peeped, though. But, uh... I ring them. Yo, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Why, Abba? They were just sleeping. They were sleeping together on the job. Mm -hmm. Sorry. We and that's the important part. That's the reason why they in this, in, the, in this, uh, what's the word for this shit? It's called a fucking, uh, kafluffle. <laughs> this shit is a kafluffle. I'm telling y'all, that's a real word. Don't, don't play around me. That's a real, that's a real word. Go look it up. Kafluffle. Kaflu kafluffle. It's a real word. Um, yeah, it was because they was fucking on the job. They could have been fucking anywhere else. They might have got suspended. Oh, the shit wouldn't have been that hot. It only hit the news and shit and social media because they was fucking on the job and sure he was getting trained around all. I'm telling y'all. Because it was the job shit. She was doing the shit outside of the workplace or so not on the clock. Niggas would not give a fuck. We ain't paying you so you can get some cheeks. Exactly. I'm glad you getting some cheeks. Yep, yeah, but not. But we ain't paying you so you can get some cheeks. Not on my Because if you get paid to get some cheeks, nigga, I want to get paid to get some cheeks. Not, not on my dollars. Getting cheeks cost me money. So it better cost you too. Not not on my dollars. Hey. It's, your, it's your dollars. It's my dollars. Yeah, the only people getting paid to get some cheeks are OnlyFans mom. <laughs> and they should. This nigga but no, they deserve to be fired. And the last thing, and I think the most important thing is, the husband stood by her. Everyone's going after him. He He's said, this is my wife. I will not leave her. Apparently, they were in some kind of weird relationship that was open, but he was upset when, because he's also a cop, when he found out that his other patrolmen were patrolling her inside. I get it. I'm not mad at it. I understand why you'd be yeah. upset. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I knew, I could tell, son. I didn't even have to, to watch his video to know son was a cop, right? One, firstly. He's a cop, too? So why you out? You know what I mean? Doing you, she... Damn, my nigga. And you gonna stand her by. She gonna do this shit again, too. Yeah. You wanted the relationship to be open. You just like, nigga, I didn't want it to be that open. You know what I'm saying? It's over. I, listen, I left the door open. I didn't want you to open the windows, too, bitch. You could have a party. I didn't want you to let everybody in the neighborhood in our home. Like, that's a lot. I understand. I understand why he's upset. He's not upset. He don't give a fuck. Him staying? I don't understand. I'm not gonna lie. But hey. It's none of my business. Nah, none. It's none of my business, but you know what the truth is? What's the truth? I'm making it my business. Yo, this dude is a cuck, bro. <laughs> let's keep it a stack. No, let's talk that shit. Let's talk you know what I mean? No, no. Last year was all empathy, empathy. This year? There's, a, there's, a, there's, there's something that happens when motherfuckers are wearing uniforms, all right? Uh, uniforms are not meant to uh, show anybody as advantage or whatever or not. Cops... Uh, the cop field this is a uh, predominantly man that that's in there when you got like a subpar girl that goes in there in a uniform if the, the guys if they're surrounded by guys when a three in a uniform gets in there and it's a bunch of it's a bunch of guys she becomes like a seven to eight and it don't nah, that's a fact niggas is horny niggas be horny b look 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 look, look. niggas be horny so like her her being like a, a mid, nah, she's under mid, I ain't gonna lie, she's a, she's a below average. Respectfully, I don't really be jacking her, you know what I'm saying? She's like a cool four. A valid, she's a valid three, valid four-ish, around that, you know what I'm saying? That, that level right there. Niggas be so horny, that like he said, when you just around mad niggas, when a new joint come in there, regardless how good she look, her level went up because you gotta, if, if it's 10 of y'all and it's only two girls here to, to choose from, your odds are low. So they could be one, they could both be really hit, but one, they, they gonna go up a couple levels because it's like, damn, we don't got that much to work with anyway. So 
in our eyes, y'all really like instead of being a, a, a three four, y'all really like a, a six seven. And y'all down to you know what I'm saying. So we you, you moved up even a little bit more. You with the bullshit. So we gonna boost you up a little bit more today. I'm telling y'all, that's why these niggas was wilding because the joints wasn't that valid. But on top of the fact that it's not that many women around and niggas is, you know what I'm saying? Nigg she with it. Niggas is with it. It's lit. I right, look, look. Prime example. Put it like this. Put it like this. Put it like this. Put it in perspective. If you got a joint, let's say like a a, a CO is is jail. We talking about jail. You send a CO, a female CO to jail, and she's surrounded by a hundred plus niggas, and she probably like the one. One or two only CO and they mind they ain't see a joint in mad years, mad months, whatever. She's a ten in there. It's the same equivalent. Don't matter. I'm going on the when when people saying that she didn't look good and everything and stuff. It didn't matter. Even in the uniform and stuff like that. If you look at a, a place where it's predominantly man, if a girl comes in and she doesn't, she she a girl, girl. And these guys, day by day, they see just guys and guys and guys. They just see a normal girl. Yeah, that's nice. a three. She's going to become a seven. All right, seven. I'll make it even more simple. You know what this is? What is it? Convenience store. Mm, convenient, yeah. I want filet mignon, but if the bodega open, I'm getting a chopped cheese. Yes, sir. Right. I'm getting a chopped cheese. To <laughs> something to do when there's nothing to do. That's a fact. Something to do when there's nothing to do. Hey, listen, <laughs> some of you ladies out there, y'all are convenience stores. Oh, I'm just keeping it a stack. Some of you do. Well, why does he keep calling me? Convenience store. You happen to be open at 2 a.m. when everything else is closed. Some of you do are convenience, convenience store. stores too. What? Steven. He doesn't want that. He keeps calling. Convenience store. Mm -hmm. That's you. Yeah. And it's okay. It's not even something shameful. It's not. What? It's working? Are you saying working at a convenience store is a bad job? It's a good job. It's a perfect job. It's okay. Those wings. It's temporary. I hope. Alleged business. Unless you want to be a perpetual convenience store your whole life. He call you during off-peak hours. Hey, uh, convenience, convenience store. store. He come in his fucking shorts. Convenience store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's a fact, bro. That's just really what it be, son. That's, you know what I mean? It is what it is. What's going on, man? What y'all feel about this? How y'all feel about this? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. On a job is crazy, but I, I I ain't gonna say I get it, but it's I don't wouldn't put it past niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like I seen it happen. You know what I mean? So what? Let me know how y'all feel about this. Was she wrong? Should they have gotten fired or suspended or whatever? What y'all peeing on them, you know what I'm saying, doing the dudes at work and shit, what she looked like and all that. Yo, niggas did this on this was a little minute ago. Niggas did this during not during Black History Month. I could have swore this was during around MLK Day. I ain't gonna lie, y'all niggas is ill. You know what I'm saying? You niggas is some of the illest niggas ever. It was like three black dudes. Come on, my nigga. Treat yourself with some, you know what I'm saying? With some respect. Niggas bugged out. 